Hey guys, welcome back to another video where I'm going to be showcasing some assets on the Unreal Engine Marketplace sale. This time it's obviously for July 2022. So in this July sale on the Unreal Engine Marketplace, you can save 50% off on over 1700 different assets from now up until July 17th. So again, you've got loads of time to save loads of money on loads of assets. And because there's such a variety, I'm going to be covering the top 10 which I found in my very quick searches. Obviously there's so many more to look through and I'll leave a link in the description down below to all the assets covered as well as the full marketplace page so you can have a look at all of the different assets for yourself and make your own decisions as well. But without further ado, let's get right into it, starting with the multi-seated vehicles multiplayer ready. So this is an easy to implement solution to have vehicles with multiple seats. The driver has control of the vehicle as well as IK driven animation system for the driver's hands that rotate with vehicle steering. Everything in this is multiplayer ready. So I think this looks absolutely amazing with any online game with vehicles in. It's obviously great to be able to have different players in the same vehicle and in different seats as well. And obviously the IK for moving the hands around the steering wheel just makes it that much better as well. This also works in both UE4 and UE5. So this is an easy to implement seats for vehicles. The players can enter and leave the vehicle at any time and you enter and exit at the door where you are closest to. The players can change to any seat at any time as well as long as the seat is obviously not occupied. It is multiplayer ready, the driver IK animation system for hands on the steering wheel and there is sitting idle pose while inside the vehicle as well for all different seats. So there are 9 blueprints and it is obviously network replicated as I've already said. They do also have their own tutorials and documentation on here of how to use it which I think looks absolutely great. Next up we've got Brushify Beach Pack and this looks absolutely beautiful. So you can create stunning beach environments inside of Unreal Engine. This kit comes with everything you need to quickly add realistic beaches to your levels. This includes huge 8K drone scans and scatter objects. So this kit is perfect for level designers and environment artists looking to get a jump start. It has a complete level ready to go out of the box and allows you to immediately start testing your gameplay, creating cinematics and learning from the example setup they've given you. Everything you see in the screenshots is provided along with the powerful shaders and workflows shown in Brushify tutorials. This beach pack contains four ultra high definition drone scans comprised of several 8K textures. All the assets are photo scanned as well and they were captured from beaches across the east coast of England. The landscape surrounding Whitby and Scarborough were the real life locations that provide the data and visual reference for this pack. So I imagine if you're not from England you're probably not going to know where Whitby or Scarborough are but they are very beautiful parts of the country. And as it's all photo scanned, that really just adds to the ultra realistic look which you can get here. So I can go on talking about this one for absolutely ages because there's so much in it and looks absolutely amazing. But obviously the video you see here really shows it off better than how I could explain it. Next is the Wendigo Ram. And so this is a Wendigo Ram realistic low poly game model. So it's a high quality realistic character while also keeping down on the poly count so you can use it in your game nice and efficiently. It's a photo real 3D model that will enhance detail and realism to any part of your game or rendering projects. So the package includes 4K ultra high quality PBR textures and the poly count is the body is about 34,000, the fur is 7,000, weapon 2,600 and so the total poly count is about 44,000 which is very good. It also includes 23 animations and on top of that there are 4 configured dependent materials and 8 instances these being light skin, brown skin, dark skin and grey skin. So this character is rigged but not to the epic skeleton and there is one character in here. There are 3 materials, 9 material instances and 21 textures all of which are 4k. Next up is the modular procedural dungeon. So this allows you to build a dungeon your way in seconds. There are thousands of possible combinations to easily create anything you can imagine. This features a truly simple to create dungeon of any size using only a curve input. Many different parameters can be changed inside of the procedural tool. More than a thousand possible combinations of walls, pillars and floors. The stairs can be procedurally made to have any height or width of your choice. Doors can be generated procedurally to be anywhere you want with any size you wish. And a decorative chain can also be made procedurally to any shape with a curve input as well. So as it sounds, you can also create your own dungeon which will look completely different to anybody else with the same pack. This seems like a very powerful tool. So there's over 150 meshes with over 90 materials and material instances and over 250 textures. The texture sizes are 4K, 2K, 1K and 512. They do also all have automatically generated collision but no LODs as the meshes are already optimised. 
Also, something to note, the plants and trees that are seen in the showcase video on screen now are not actually included in this pack. But once again, I think this looks great. If you want to make a dungeon crawler or any game really where you have a dungeon, maybe it's just something underneath a castle in an RPG or any type of game you want, I think this works absolutely perfectly. Now is the Winter Environment Nature Pack. So this package contains a big collection of assets that will help you to create an exterior winter environment. So this features four example maps, one of which with all assets, 4k textures for landscape, trees, bushes and props, 10 foliage procedural spawner presets, a modular workflow with functions, switch parameters to disable and enable the material features, a wind system with advanced control settings i.e. direction, amplitude, speed and so much more, global and local parameters for top layer, tint color and wind, global parameters can be different for each scene, landscape auto slope material and so much more. There are 22 tree meshes of three different types, so you have three types of trees across 22 meshes, 7 bushes, 17 grasses, again three types combined in multiple groups as well, 3 background mountains, 5 rocks, 50 props and those include debris, fences, logs, planks, roots and stumps, and one blueprint. There are also lots of different texture and material varieties for all of these assets, the majority of which are 4K and some of which are 1K. So there's 8 master materials, 49 material instances, and 23 functions and 4 collections. All of these meshes do have collision and they have 3 LODs on them all as well. And as you can see from the video, this looks absolutely fantastic. You can really create a beautiful looking winter scene very, very quickly and easily, and also customize it massively to your own needs as well. And next up is particle rings. So this is a customizable particle ring VFX. So there's 14 particle ring effects created in Niagara and an additional 17 custom attributes to control almost everything about the effect. So it's very, very customizable. All the effects are optimized and loop continuously as well, as you can clearly see in the video now, the nice smooth looping transition. So there's 14 Niagara systems and two Niagara emitters. The type of emitters are CPU and GPU, but they are mainly GPU sprites, but a small amount of CPU for the lights. There's no LODs, there's 14 unique effects, three materials and seven material instances, and 12 textures. However, it doesn't say what resolution the textures are. So there's not much information on the Marketplace page about this, but the screenshots and video showcase really do show off well, and there's not much to say, it's these amazing looking VFX that are very customizable for your own needs as well. Now we've got the Easy RPG Dialogue System. So this is an easy to use dialogue builder with letter by letter text effect, sequence of integration, multiple choices, and much, much more, and this is mainly inspired by JRPGs as well. However, that doesn't mean you can only use it in JRPGs, but They've been heavily influenced by that. This system contains all the features you need to tell stories in your game and other projects. With a simple array system you can add as many lines of dialogue to your conversations as you want in a matter of seconds. The longest part is just typing all out. So you'll get your text written letter by letter inside a customizable dialogue box placed next to a possible character portrait and a character name box if that is what you desire. It also contains multiple player response choices that will change what the NPC will say to you next depending on your answer, so you can really get a nice dialogue tree in here as well. You can also add your own audio file for each dialogue line in order to either play voice acting or just a speech sound effect as well. All of this is also skippable if the player progresses to the next dialogue line if they wish, so that obviously includes the speech sound effect and the letter by letter transition. So this features NPC conversations, letter by letter scrolling text effect, character name box, character portraits, voiceover or speech sound effects support, there's none included but the option to put them in there is there, very easy to do, multiple dialogue choices with different responses, sequencer integration, automatic adjustment of dialogue box location if no portrait is found, readable signs which can be made into any readable actor, dark mode and it is also easy to use and customize. So there are six blueprints and this is also network replicated. So again, I think this one looks absolutely amazing. It's really got the base fundamental code of a dialogue system here, which you'd want. There's no reason not to get this if you're wanting to make an advanced RPG dialogue system. And this obviously doesn't even just have to be RPG, but again, that's what it's aimed at. Next, we've got the VR hands grab system. So this is a grab system for VR objects with finger position prediction, and there's no need to make grab animations for each item. So there's no need to make grab animations for each individual item anymore. It's all just done 
automatically and procedurally for us. So the grab component will automatically predict finger position on the object surface when grabbed, which looks absolutely amazing. It just really adds that extra level of detail into the game, which the player will love. So using this system, there will be no need to make grab animations for each item, which will speed up the VR game development time considerably. This project comes with five example items, those being an axe, knife, grenade, gun, and lever. And also the axe and knives are throwable items. Spinning assist is also implemented for throwable items, and this can also be turned off if you want. So it features a runtime finger position prediction on the grabbed object surface, set up multiple grab points for one object, five example items with 4K resolution, interactable lever with on off position with LED as well, an interactable grenade with VFX and sound effects, throwing knife and axe assist logic, grab LOC visualizer, and physics collision, i.e. grabbed items won't go through walls. There are 15 blueprints, 10 meshes, 24 textures, and 12 materials. And this has been tested on the Vive and Quest 2. It doesn't say whether it works on any other ones, but those are the only two they've tested it on. And this looks incredibly useful for anybody wanting to make a VR game. As they said, this will considerably cut down on game development time, creating all those small individual details, which can be very, very time consuming. This cuts out the need for all of that. So it looks absolutely fantastic and it really does work well. It looks very, very fluid. Now is the cinematic cutscene system. So this allows you to create in-game cutscenes with dialogues without using a level sequence. So similarly to the RPG dialogue system, this is more of a cinematic cutscene, which also includes dialogues as well. So this cutscene system creates in-game cutscenes without using level sequencer or any code. The cutscene system doesn't use any behavior tree, so don't worry for your existing project. You can still use a level sequence with this system together if that's what you wanted. You can use custom blueprints with cutscenes. Just add one component to your character and that's it, you're done. And this will also work with first person, third person or top down. So the main features of this are character dialogue with animations in camera, explosions and particle effects and sounds. So the cutscene offers you three types of dialogue options, overhead, subtitle or only sound and characters are also looking at each other as well if that's what you wanted. You can set up any character to move to any location with weight and you can use any anim montage inside of the cutscene system as well and there are lots of camera options inside of the cutscene system. For example, look to actor, move with actor or if you just want to use a level sequence camera and customize it completely yourself. So there's lots of stuff to dive into on this one. Really, it's a dialogue system, but to be a part of that system, you are going to be in a cinematic cutscene. Again, the video on screen will be explaining it a lot better to really show off and see what it is that you're getting in this asset. And finally, last but not least, is the flashy, high quality fighting animations. So this is over 101 unarmed combat animations in FBX format, baked on Dewey 4 standard skeleton and compatible with any humanoid character. So the benefit of it being baked on the U4 standard skeleton is you can just put it into Unreal and it's there on the mannequin and that allows you to then very very easily animation retarget it to any other humanoid character that you want. So as with some others there's not much detail on here but the video shows off very well. So this is a realistic and flashy fighting motion which includes standing movement, punches, kicks, hits, knockouts, blocks and dodges. This is scaled to the epic skeleton and rigged to the epic skeleton as well and it's also animated with 101 animations of two different versions, which is both root motion and in place as well, which is absolutely fantastic. And this is also compatible in both Unreal Engine 4 and Unreal Engine 5. So I thought it'd be nice to just add in some animations on the end of here as well. And again, these ones look absolutely amazing, especially if you want to make a fighting game or just any game really where there, where there is an element of combat in there, this would work absolutely perfectly for you kind of an MMA Street Fighter type of stuff, type of fighting combat as you'd see there. So I think that'll be it for this video of me covering the July Marketplace sale, where again you can save 50% off of over 1700 assets from now up until July 17th. So I hope you enjoyed this video and hope you found it helpful of me just going over 10 different assets from this sale. And let me know in the comments down below which one your favorite one was and if you found any other amazing ones on the page as well. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.